Games, it's Jax, and welcome to Night in River Raja. River Raja? River Raja. Anyway, this is a prequel sort of side story for my beautiful paper smile. If you've been keeping up with that, we've been playing the latest chapters on streams. And uh, and this one, this side story prequel is about the hunter that we met in chapter two. So yeah, and it's free, so I'll link it in the description for anyone of you guys that's interested in this uh this game. It's my beautiful paper smile universe. Oh. Art style is so cool in this game. It really is. That's really cool. Do I need the clicker? Yeah, I do. Oh, there we go. There I am. I am the hunter. The hand icon means an object is interactable. Don't forget to bring payment for uncle. Ah, oh, what's bloody uncle? Oh. Ah, oh, what voices I do for him? I can't remember. Mother, I am leaving now to gather your supplies from uncle. Of course, Las Laskiva. I haven't forgotten. I should return by morning. I would hope so. The pain increases hour on hour. Sapiens has told me that there is some disturbance among the woods caused by the king. Please travel with care. Watch your back as always. Indeed, I will, I will carry him. caution with every step. One last thing before you leave. Stop it. Take this token as payment for your uncle. Who is our freaking uncle, man? He's done too much for us not to reward him. I will make sure he gets it. Stay well while I'm gone. So who is our uncle? Is it... Plot twist, the king. That's it. I know how point and click games work. <laughs> okay. So we are, as they say, out here and we're getting some supplies from uncle i can only guess <clears throat> because we met this guy uh obviously in the game as the little kid the kid with no name got him playing a lot of game with children with no names um that the mother dies i presume what are you doing i'm just trying to learn what let's just go through it all time to leave has come. Another adventure begins. Well, let's freaking go then, mate. So am I going to be fighting anyone? I've got a gun. Do we get to use the gun? There's a guy over there. Just... Okay, he was there. I... I'm not lying to you. He looks like... The back of his hood looks like a face. You see that? That's a bloody bright light or something like the River Raja Bridge. And what's this called? Night in the River. Okay, so we're nearly we're nearly there. But someone knows what we're doing stuff. Okay. Well, okay, well the bridge controls down. <coughs> Hate that. <coughs> this bridge will lead me out of the River Raja and into the land of the king. Sapien said the king has sent out some of his authorities for some reason. I need to make sure I stay away from any road where they may roam. Oh yeah, there was two paths going off left and right, weren't there? Let's go left. Is there someone up there? Who's that? You see that? Who is this person? Oh, here we go. What's this? A broken bridge. Well, that's no good to us, is it? Okay, so we need to hit the other switch on the other side. And that will get the bridge control going. But someone... Is it that same guy that followed us in the actual game? It kind of looked like him. The one where we had to, like... Did we have to, like, electrocute him? I can't remember. We had a boss battle with him. The Grand Cat... Oh, there he is. There's the boy. He's not going to let us escape. But he doesn't know how good we are. Wicked. Easy. 
I gotta say, I really love the art style. The game mechanics are sort of interesting. I'm not, I'm not blown away by the game mechanics, but it's interesting how it's used and it's different to what I would normally expect. So, um, so yeah, I'm here for it. I am. But the art style is so creepy. There we go. Done. Game over. Demo over. Is it demo? No, the prequel over. We done it. Okay. Oh, there he is. Who is this unearthly figure? Could it be a servant of the king? I will take a brief detour to make sure the figure doesn't follow and means no harm. Mate, you got a gun. Just shoot this little kid. <laughs> there should be an old cabin just around the bend. I should rest there until the figure leaves the area. Okay. Interesting decision. I'm not sure if he is necessarily a servant of the king, but he clearly doesn't like us or this guy. Here it is. I don't think he ever talks either. Oh no, I think he is a ser he is a servant of the king, because he um I swear when he gets you for the jump scare. It's like a, pa a, f a face of the king or something. I should like the fire in front of the cabin to scare away any threats. You got it, sir. That should keep away any unwanted creatures. I can rest now. I like your horns, dude. So he's going to go sleep it off and hope that guy doesn't rock up. That's good! Yeah, he's the guy that like disappears and reappears. And we had to put, we had to scare him with masks and stuff. We've had a few boss battles with that guy, actually. Oh, okay. This is interesting. Why does this kind of remind me of that facility where we were held captive as a child? That's kind of what it feels like. You're doing this, aren't you, child? Well, excuse me. <laughs> oh, God. We've got to survive. This is just a dream. Ah. It's just a dream. It's not real. Ah. <laughs> Going. Going. Oh, maybe not. Oh wait, that's not. well. Now that's interesting. You can shape the boy can shape shift. What does it mean, though? Oh, he's he's not where he was. So was he actually moving around? How did that happen, sir? Oh, and that's where we meet him. Now that is interesting. Haha, <laughs> that's how it worked. So the end of this is when we'll get back to the cabin. But before that he has to... Oh, wait. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. So, basic. So, my understanding, the whole idea of this is that we have, in the, I think it was chapter two, in the main game, um, we, the hunter's helping us out, and he's guiding us the way. But the hunter's being controlled by the thing that's been trying to stop us, and we are unaware. Oh, I like that. I like that. I'm very impressed that it, they created this little thing just as like a. This is actually who the hunter is. He's being controlled. Did you know Night in the River Ratchet is the companion game of my beautiful paper smile? Um, I like that though. I like that they put like a an extra piece of sort of understanding into uh, into the main story, and it completely will change your thoughts going into the next chapter when if we see the hunter again and be like, 
if you didn't play this and you didn't know that, you'd be like, it's my good friend Hunter, Hunter guy with the gun. How are you doing, old chap? So now when you're like, stay the away from me, you're compromised. But yeah, there we go. There is a uh, night in the River Ratchet. That's shorter than I thought, but hey, I'm um, I'm quite. I think it's quite cool how they how they did that. Like I was just saying that they used sort of a side story just to sort of tell you a bit more about um, tell you that the hunter's in fact not who you think he is, or not maybe not self-aware enough to to know that he's being controlled by this other guy. I don't know any names of anything in this game. Um, but yeah, there we go. I will link this and my beautiful paper smile down in the description, guys. Go and check it out. It's very weird and creepy, and the art style is just really cool, all hand drawn and stuff. I just think, I just think it's really well done. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, hit the like button for me, guys, because it really, really does help me out. And if you are new here, do feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and check out some other videos I have got going on. Thank you guys so much for watching, have yourselves a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video.